Hey guys, what's up? All right, it's about time for VBS and I'm really excited. You know, we've put a lot, of, a lot of time and effort into these videos and we really hope you enjoy them. Before we get started though, I wanted to ask something of the parents. Now, I'm sure you all have a fancy camera pocket being your cell phone. If something cool happens, if you see your kids getting really into it, whether it be the dancing or or into the crafts or the lesson or if they do their, you know, memory verse, whatever it is that they they really get excited about, I want you to, to pull this out and don't don't keep it out. You know, really we want to encourage you to to be able to participate as much as you can with your kids and see as they get to learn about God. But for those quick little moments, maybe pull this out and take a little video. It is better for us you know, sideways sort of thing rather than up and down. But just take that quick video and if it's something you think would be really cool and you'd like to be able to share with the church, send it to info at templejonesboro.com. I, I promise to not interrupt any more than this because this is exciting. I'm ready for you to get started. So without any further ado, VBS 2020. <laughs> Welcome to Rocky Railway Vacation Bible School at Temple Baptist Church. I'm Miss Julie, and I'm so excited to be riding the rails with you this week. I hope everybody's got their day one bag ready to go. If you need to get it, pause your video, go grab it. Make sure you have it. You're going to need this stuff in it this week. All right. So every day we're going to start right here at the Sing and Play Express. And I've got an awesome crew that's going to come in. They're going to help us sing and have fun and celebrate Jesus's power. Let's start off with a song about Jesus's power pulling us through. Everybody up, even your moms and dads and big sisters and big brothers or whoever's at home, everybody up on your feet and let's worship by singing. Your power will pull us through.
Guys, I just love singing that song. I'm so excited for VBS this week. You know, I heard some commotion around the rail yard about a rock slide last night. You know, that could be really, really bad. Maybe I can find somebody who can tell us what happened. Hmm. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hi, maybe you think this guy can help. Excuse me, do you work here? Do I work here? Friend, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Not only do I work here, I drive the trains. I'm an engineer. Name's Cam, Cam Track. Wow, hey Cam, I'm Julie. And these are all my friends here at Rocky Railway. You know, an engineer with a name like Cam Track? You must know a ton about trains. Well, let me tell you something. When you've worked on the railroad as long as I have these trains, they just become part of you. Hmm, that must be a really big part. Hmm, but we heard there was a problem, so maybe you can help us. Um, my friends and I, we heard something about a little rock slide. You heard right. I got all these boulders everywhere. Can't even get my trains down the mountain. Good thing I'm here, though, to take care of it. Oh, <sighs> that could be a big problem. Mm-hmm. Yep. But you know what? I can do it. I can handle it. You think you can lift a really big boulder? I don't think. I know. I mean, check out these All right. Guns. Why don't you warm up with those rocks over there by Ramsey? Easy peasy. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> Hang on. <clears throat> Just got to get my leverage. <clears throat> Wait a minute. <clears throat> One more time. I guess it's just no use. I'm just not strong enough. You know, it's funny you should mention that, Cam. Because all week, and especially today, we're learning that Jesus' power can help us do hard things. Trust Jesus. You know, we all have hard things that we have to do. And, um, like, maybe you have a big test to take at school. <sighs> Or maybe there's a bully that's being mean to you and you have to stand up to that bully. Or maybe you just have to do what your mom told you, like clean your room and you really didn't want to do that. You know, or it could have been like having a friend move far away. What are you doing? We've already established I'm not very strong. Oh, let me help you. Uh, uh. You know, none of us are strong enough to tackle all the tough stuff on our own. But we have a friend who is, and his name is Jesus. Jesus is the most powerful. He's powerful in every way. And, you know, sometimes life might seem heavy and the load might seem hard, but yeah, Jesus is there. I mean, you think Jesus can help me move these rocks? Oh, Mom. Um, um, yeah, he'd probably get you a crew to help you. And hmm. This Jesus guy, he sounds like a pretty good guy to have around. You know what? I'm going to go see if I can get somebody to help me move these rocks. All right. And when you get done, come talk to me a little bit more about it. Bye, All guys. Right. As soon as I'm done, um, I'll come see if we can figure things out together. See you later, Cam. Oh, that silly Cam. I don't know what we're going to do with that character this week. I sure hope that he is able to get those rocks fixed. You know, all week we're going to be imagining what it would be like to journey on a steam train through the wild, vast, beautiful Rocky Mountains. You know what? A long time ago, trains were the fastest way to travel. When you had to go really far up a really big hill or mountain, you rode a train. We don't really get to see steam trains anymore. We don't really get to ride them. So steam trains get their power from a steam engine. So a steam engine's kind of like this tea kettle right here. You put the water inside and when it boils, it goes doo doo and steam comes through the hole and it starts whistling. That's pretty cool. So inventors figured out a way to catch that steam and turn it into power. Enough power 
to pull huge trains up even bigger mountains. And trains have enough power to travel all over the place and carry stuff all around the world. I want you to huddle up at home right now and imagine that you have a steam train and that you can fill it with all the people you want and all the stuff you want to take with you. And it can take you wherever you want, but you can't go over an ocean. There's no train tracks on the ocean. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to come up with what you would take and where you would go. Wow, it would take a lot of power to move all that stuff and to go all of those places. You know, this week we're going to discover a special kind of power that you and I both have. And it's enough power to move anything and to go anywhere. We have the power of Jesus. Jesus' power is ready to help us with important things. Hmm, sometimes when I think of power, I think of superheroes who have special powers, you know, like they can fly or see through the walls or all those super cool things. And some of you might think of somebody with big old muscles, you know, whoo, weightlifter poses. Let me see them. Everybody's got them. Strong muscles and superpowers are things that we usually hear about when we hear power. But I know somebody who has even more power. His name is God. God has the power to create mountains and oceans just by talking. God has the power to love. He has the power to heal, to forgive, to comfort. God has more power than death, and that's awesome. And you know what? Jesus, who is God's son, has those same powers. All week, we're going to talk about how we can trust Jesus' power to help us each and every day. And later this week, we will learn about how there is a life-saving power in Jesus' blood. You know, I know a song we can sing. So let everybody up and let's sing Power in the Blood.
oh, I just love singing about Jesus' power. It's just awesome. Every day here at Rocky Railway, we will learn a Bible point. A Bible point is an important truth from the Bible that we need to remember and keep in our heart. Today, we will explore how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. That is our Bible point for today. So every time you hear somebody say, Jesus' power helps us do hard things, I want you to say, trust Jesus. And when you say, trust Jesus, I want you to reach up high. So everybody do it with me. Reach up high and pull your train whistle down. Let's try it together. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Very good. You know, my favorite Bible verse even helps remind me that Jesus' power helps me do hard things. Trust Jesus. It says, For I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Well, Christ is another word for Jesus. And we just learned that Jesus' power can help us do hard things. Trust Jesus. So that means I can do everything with Jesus' power. Hmm. Guess what? That reminds me. I know another song that we can sing about the power of Jesus. And I know most of you at home already know this one. It is so much fun. So let's get up and sing Power Shuffle together. That song just gives me so much energy, guys. Oh, I'm just pumped up and ready to learn more. And guess what? It's time to learn something more. Each night this week, we will meet a new buddy to help us remember our Bible point. Tonight's buddy is Ramsey. He's right here. He is a ram. So let's watch this video to learn more about Ramsey. 
Hey there, friends! Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good. But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and keep my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. In your day one bag, you will find a little Ramsey cord. I want you to keep him close so that he can remind you that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Now, our fun is just getting started. We are going to trek on over to Bible Adventures and go visit the newsroom to hear all about tonight's Bible story. See you back here for the wrap up. Hello, boys and girls. We want to welcome you to Temple Baptist Church's Rocky Railway. This week, we are going to be learning that Jesus' power pulls us through. My name is Lori, and I will be with you all week. As you can see, I'm a reporter, and I am going to be taking you through Bible adventures this week, and we are going to be meeting some fabulous Bible characters and finding out how Jesus has given them the power to do some pretty amazing things. So I hope you're ready to go on some Bible adventures with me. Come on back with me as we get ready to learn some new things. Now, today, our first day of this Rocky Railway Bible School, we are going to find out that Jesus gives us the power to do hard things. Now, as you can see, I'm having some hard time getting in this chair, but there's been a lot of other things in my life that have been hard. Have you ever had to do something really hard? 
I want you to think about that. Like maybe it was take a math test or maybe it was a big game, a soccer game or a basketball game and it was really important and you had to play your best. Or maybe it was tell the truth about something that you did or something that happened and it was really hard to do the right thing. Or maybe you had to be nice to a mean kid and it was really hard, but Jesus gave you the power to do it. And that's what we're going to learn about this week, that power that Jesus gives. And guess what? I'm an adult, but even I have to do hard things. Yeah, I do. And you know what? Jesus gives me the power to do it too. Like I have to have the power to make the right choices at school and be kind when other people aren't kind. Or I have to make the choice to do the laundry when I don't want to do the laundry. Woo, that's a hard thing sometimes. Now, today we are going to meet a Bible character. And let me tell you, he had a very hard thing to do. And his name was Ananias. And he's supposed to be here by now. Hmm. I wonder where he is. We're going to look for him. Ananias? Ananias? I don't know where he could be. Oh, it, Ananias? Is that you? Yes. Why are you wearing that cricket? Come up here. Ananias, why are you wearing that mask? I'm hiding. I'm hiding. You're hiding. You're supposed to be here for an interview. That's the thing. That's the thing. See, there's this guy in the city. His name is Saul. And let me tell you, that is one bad dude. <sighs> uh, I know. You're here to tell me about the arrival of Saul to the city. What do you know about it and why are you wearing a mask? I have to tell you, it's not working very good. Well, I, I could tell it was still you. Look, it's the only thing I had, okay? Well, this guy, Saul... Okay, you see, he's a really bad man, all right? He throws the friends of Jesus in jail. And guess what? I'm a friend of Jesus. Right. And, I mean, he, he, he's in the city, and I'm just really scared of being seen by him and getting captured. I don't want to get put in jail. But Saul, see, you see, he was on the road to... Oh, Damascus? Uh, to Is Damascus. That That's oh, where he was on the road to. I think I heard that. Yeah. And, and, and he had a vision of Jesus, okay? Yeah. And he heard Jesus' voice, and then all of a sudden, he went blind and oh. fell to the ground. Hmm, right? that's bad news. So Saul's buddies dragged him here to Damascus, okay? And I had a vision from God, and what God told me to do was to go to, go to Saul and, and heal him of his, uh, and heal him and give him his sight back. Oh, wow. So you are supposed to go to Saul. How do you feel about that? I mean, I can already guess from the mask, it's not your favorite thing. Look, okay. I'm scared to do this because if Saul sees me, what's, he's going to throw me in jail, right? That's what he does. He throws Christians in jail and he throws rocks at them. He chains them up in cells underground and stuff like that. I don't know all the stuff he does. And honestly, I don't think I want to know. Well, guess what? I have just been talking to the boys and girls and we've been talking about how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. And and here's what I'm guessing is that, Ananias, if God told you to go to Saul and do this hard thing, that he is going to give you the power to do it. So I think that you should give me that crazy mask because it wasn't working anyway. And that you should take on Jesus's power and you should go do that hard thing. You know what? You're right. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be really hard and it's going to be really tough to do for me, but I'm just going to trust in Jesus and try and do my best. You can do it. I have faith in you. Boys and girls, do you think you can do it? Yes, I can hear them out there in TV land. They're rooting you. for you Thank and you. so much. Let okay. us know how it goes. I will. Everybody, even Bible characters, went through hard things and it's important to remember that you are not alone when you go through hard things. Jesus is always with you even when you feel like you're alone. Hard things are going to happen, and when they do, you have to pray about it and ask God to help you. Even when there's things you don't want to have to do, like be nice or to study 
or to get those things done that you don't want to have to get done that mom and dad ask you to get done because they're hard. You can do it. Maybe it's extra practice. Maybe it's extra studying. Those hard things are important. But Jesus' power will give you the ability to do those hard things. Now, I think we should pray for Ananias. What do you think? Let's do it. God, thank you so much that your word tells us that Jesus' power will give us, to, give us the power to do hard things and that you'll always be with us. And God, we pray for Ananias that as he goes to see Paul, Saul, that you will protect him and that he will be able to do the hard thing and obey you and that, and that he will have mighty power to see Saul and do exactly what you told him to do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <gasps> hmm, I wonder how it's going. I hope Ooh, he comes back. All right, yes, and let's nice. go. Boy. How did it go? Sit down, let's interview him and find out. How did it go? Do I have some good news for y'all? All right, I took your advice. I trusted in Jesus, and I went and saw. I went and went to Saul. Okay. Um, and so I got there, and I told him. I said, Saul, Jesus came to me, and he told me to place my hands on you and to give you your sight back. And then the Holy Spirit filled me up, and bam, he got his sight back. Something like scales or something fell off of his eyes, and all of a sudden he could see again. And you know what? I didn't even get thrown in jail. So you obeyed God and Jesus' power helps you do a hard thing? I did, yep. Did it, was it worth it? It was definitely worth it. Did anything happen to Saul after that, after you healed him? Did he believe in God after that he or did. did he stay evil and mean? No, he believed in God after that and he was super nice, super thankful for it and yeah. So he's changed. He is, yes. So boys and girls, did you hear that? Not only did Jesus' power help Ananias do a hard thing, because he obeyed and did that hard thing, Saul went from a mean Christian killing, arresting jerk to a believer. He asked Jesus to come live in his heart. So we want you to remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things and you can trust God. We'll see you tomorrow for day two. Hey guys, welcome to Imagination Station. I've got my helpers with me, Allie and Lindley, and they're gonna be with us all week helping us with our science fun gizmos for Rocky Railway. So everybody make sure you have your day one bag. You've got a black cylinder thing and two yellow straws and a rubber band. Make sure you have all of your pieces. So Allie today is gonna show us how to put this together. So that way we can see how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Can you guys say, trust Jesus? Trust, trust Jesus. Jesus. Good job. All right, so grab your black cylinder piece, pull it apart, and then you wanna grab the piece that has the, um, the raised hole on the outside. And you wanna slide your rubber band through that hole and in through it, Allie, show them. And then you're going to take your long yellow straw and put it through the outside, just like this. Okay, then you're going to grab your little yellow straw and you're going to put the end of the rubber band on your little yellow straw. Then you're going to get your flat sided piece and you're going to thread that through there. Be really careful. This part gets a little tricky. Let's we'll see if Allie can do it for us. Make it right there on the end, or right in the middle. Nope. All right. This is a hard part. Oh, Lindley thinks she can do it. Here, Lindley, help us just a little bit. Hold this bottom part for me, sissy. All right. So we've got it like this. My rubber band's on it. And we're going to take the flat end piece. You're going to just put it right through. Oh, <laughs> just like. Hold on. I hope you guys are getting this faster than we are. Just, oh, oh my goodness gracious. Who knew this would be so tricky? All right, when you pull it through, you wanna clip them together. Clip your black pieces back together. Don't let go of that rubber band. And then you're gonna put your little yellow straw through the end. So you have little yellow straw, 
holding your rubber band on one side and your big yellow straw holding your rubber band on the outside or the other side. So now you're sitting there with this thing, this whatever you want to call it. And you're like, well, what are we supposed to do with it? How does this tell me that Jesus' power helps us do hard things? Trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. Good job. So, well, you have to give it Jesus' power. You have to tell people about Jesus and, and all that. So, Allie, how are, we're going to spin the long straw to give that all the power we can get. You want to spin, 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 because Jesus has a lot, a lot of power. Then you're going to set it down. Watch out, Lindley, back up and see what happens. Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, down the stairs. So that reminds us that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. So no matter what happens, Jesus' love he loves us, and he has good plans for our lives. And Jesus' power will help us do hard things, and it doesn't matter what direction you go. You might roll off the table or roll down the stairs like our little deal did, our off-rail roller did, but you still have Jesus' power, and it's going to help you get to wherever you go. We'll see you tomorrow at Imagination Station. Bye! wrap-up. I sure hope that you had an awesome, fun-filled night at VBS at home, but we're not quite done yet. We've got a little bit more to go. So I want everybody to grab your Ramsey Bible Buddy, 
Ramsey is the bighorn sheep. And he is so strong and powerful, he was made to climb up big, steep mountains. You know, every time I look at Ramsey, I remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. You know, you can use your Ramsey this week when you're tracking with Jesus' Bible book as a game piece. It's pretty cool, huh? You know, since Ramsey has all that power, let's sing Power in the Blood. Everybody up. That was great. You know, train crews like the one Cam is on, they have a very hard and challenging job. You know, every day they do all kinds of hard things. So I found a tricky track challenge for us to try. So I want everybody to grab your paper tracks from day one, and I want you just to hold on to them. You can set them beside you, you can hold them in your hands, but don't do anything with them just yet. Just need to have them. All right. Now let's get to it. Here's our challenge. Remember, don't do it until I say to, until I tell you to. There are three tracks, one, two, three, on your piece of paper. I want you to hold it like this, and you're going to pull the corners of your paper so that you have three separate tracks. Tearing paper sounds easy, right? So ready? Let's try it together. On the count of three, we're going to tear our tracks together. One, two, three, tear. Huh, I don't have three separate tracks. Well, I thought that would be easy. Hmm, let's try it again. Everybody grab your second piece of paper. But this time, I have a tack tearing tip. So watch carefully. I want you to put the middle part of your track right here right there in your mouth, and then pull the ends very, very gently. So let's try it together. I'm going to count to three again, and then we'll pull. Ready? One, two, three, pull. Much easier with that t track tearing trip. trick. Sometimes... When things are hard, like tearing that paper, you need a little bit of help. Just like our Bible point from today, Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. 
You know, Jesus puts just the right people in our lives to help us out during the tough times. At Rocky Railway, Jesus puts you with a crew of people and your families at home to help you and encourage you. So I want everybody in the house to stop right now. And I want you to give each person with you a high five. And while you're high fiving, I want you to say, I'm so glad Jesus ch ch chose you for my crew. I'll give you a little bit of time to do that. All right, that was awesome. I know some of you have some huge crews at home. Some of you have small crews at home and it doesn't really matter how many people are on your crew. I mean, I'm kind of up here by myself. Oh, wait, is that an Ananias? Hey, how you doing? Hey, come on up here. Well, just back from going and seeing Saul. Oh yeah, I heard. You were kind of afraid to go see him. I was, but my friends here helped remind me that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. So, what happened? Tell us about it. Well, I went and I found the house, and I went in there, and, you know, there was Saul. He hadn't eaten for three days. He kind of looked a little rough, but mm -hmm. he was still pretty scary. Yeah, so what'd you do? Well, I said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, the one that appeared to you on the road, sent me so you can get your sight back and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then I put my hands on his shoulders and bam, something like these weird scaly things fell off of his eyes and then he could see again. Whoa, that is incredible. I know. Then he was baptized and he had something to eat and I came here to let you all know how it went. Wow, that sounds like God has some huge plans for Saul. Just like he has big plans for everyone here. And we can do it too because Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Well, I've got to run, uh, but thanks for your help, friends. We'll see you later, Ananias. See ya. You know, Ananias had to trust Jesus, and so do we. Huh. Guess what? I know a song that will help us to remember to trust Jesus. Everybody up, let's sing. We can trust him. When we're friends with Jesus, he can take us to incredible places and he can show us all kinds of amazing things. This week, I want you to look for God wherever you are. 
You could be outside and see some really pretty flowers, or maybe you even have a garden. We have a garden at my house, and we've been watching our vegetables grow, and that has been an awesome God sighting for me and Wesley and Lindley. So when you have a God sighting anytime this week, I want you to post it in the comments of this video so that we can celebrate your God sightings too. You know, I have had an amazing first day at Rocky Railway. Thanks, guys, for celebrating Jesus' power with me. I hope that you can invite a friend tomorrow, even if they can't be in your house. You can send them to the Facebook page or on the Temple app. And I hope to see you all right here tomorrow for another fun-filled Rocky Railway adventure. See you later.